good morning and welcome to morning prayer on Friday. I'm in the Lady Chapel at Wellington Cathedral of St Paul. Etefano, our help is in the name of the eternal God, who is making the heavens and the earth. Eternal Spirit, flow through our being and open our lips that our mouths may proclaim your praise. Let us worship the God of love. Alleluia, Alleluia. Our reading for this morning is taken from Luke chapter 22, beginning at the first verse. Now the festival of unleavened bread, which is called the Passover, was near. The chief priests and the scribes were looking for a way to put Jesus to death, for they were afraid of the people. Then Satan entered into Judas, called Iscariot, who was one of the twelve. He went away and conferred with the chief priests and officers of the temple police about how he might betray him to them. They were greatly pleased and agreed to give him money. So he consented and began to look for an opportunity to betray him to them when no crowd was present. Then came the day of unleavened bread on which the Passover lamb had to be sacrificed. So Jesus sent Peter and John saying, go and prepare the Passover meal for us that we might eat it. They asked him, where do you want us to make preparations for it? Listen, he said to them, when you have entered the city, a man carrying a jar of water will meet you. Follow him into the house he enters and say to the owner of the house, the teacher asks you, where is the guest room where I may eat the Passover with my disciples? He will show you a large room upstairs, already furnished. Make preparations for us there. So they went and found everything as he had told them, and they prepared the Passover meal. We're going to hold some silence to reflect on that reading and its meaning for us this day. Today is a fresh day. It is a good day because you have made it. Therefore, it is full of possibilities and hope. Jesus, you are our source. Help us to live this day with you at the centre. You call us together as your body. Help us to share this day well with others. Yours is a revolution of love. Help us to share the good news with the last, the lost and the least. Amen. We continue now in prayer, holding before God the needs of the world, the needs of our own community, and our own needs known only to him. O oh God of many names, lover of all peoples, we pray for peace in our hearts and peace in our homes, in our nations and our world. The peace of your will, 
and the peace of our need. Dear Christ, our friend and our guide, pioneer through the shadow of death, passing through darkness to make it light. Be our companion that we may fear no evil and bring us to life and glory. O God of peace and justice, of holiness and love, knit us together in mind and flesh, in feeling and in spirit, and make us one, ready for that great day, the fulfilment of all our hopes and the glory of Jesus Christ, where we will gather with you, united with all those that we know and love, around your table in your heavenly kingdom. And so now keep us in the spirit of joy and simplicity and mercy. Bless us and those you have entrusted to us in and through Jesus Christ our Saviour. Amen. May the Creator bless you and keep you. May the beloved companion face you and have mercy upon you. May the eternal Spirit's countenance be turned to you and give you peace. May the three in one bless you this day and in the weekend ahead. The divine spirit dwells in us. Thanks be to God. <laughs>